morning guys so it's day four of Iceland now just had to put some um, well it's not really screen wash but basically because the road you know because they're full of ash and snow and things it, it flicks up at the at the windshield every like five seconds so you do need a lot of screen wash when you're here basically that's run out so I just put some um, some carbonated water which we bought back so I'm just put that in there and it just you know seems to do the trick quite well so if you buy some uh, fizzy water by accident just put it in your um, screen wash and you should be good to go but um, the plan today is well we're thinking about going to the Silfra Fisher Silfra Fisher I think that's how you say it which is basically uh, between the tectonic plates of Europe and North America um, and it's a place where a lot of divers go and I think it's in a national park um, I was thinking about going there but I'm not sure if we're going to have time before we go to the Blue Lagoon so we've got to be there for three and it's like nearly 12 now I mean we have sort of um, you know we had a lie in today we had a nice sleep and then um, you know we've just been just doing stuff really having a nice relaxed day it is Valentine's Day today but yeah the plan is today go to the Blue Lagoon we're gonna have a meal thereafter and then we'll see what we do later on after that but um, yeah we, tomorrow is our last full day then after that we uh, we fly home so just gonna head to the supermarket now pick up some daily groceries some water and whatnot and we'll get started with our day so let's go look at the dog look at the dog <laughs> so guys we're back at the hotel now just gonna have some lunch which is one of these boxes again and it has uh, basically it's just chicken and pasta I have some barbecue sauce somewhere, which I'm gonna douse on that, and then um, we're gonna head to the Blue Lagoon, go stop for petrol on the way. Um, but when we get there, we're gonna get some photos, some videos, and then just have a nice, relaxing Valentine's Day. Now then guys, just walking to the Blue Lagoon. Are you I'm excited? Along. <laughs> Are you excited there? Yeah, I am. I just want to get into the warm water. Let's do it. Sort of, uh, sort of in the middle now, I guess. I can't see, I'm getting blinded. It's nice though, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice and relaxing. It's nice, nice to be in calm. a bath, because we have a shower in a hotel. Yeah.
guys, we're just finishing the Blue Lagoon and we're in the lava restaurant now. Take a look around. There we go, so we finished at the Blue Lagoon um, and then went to the lava restaurant after. Now what we initially planned to do, I was going to have the, um, the ribeye beef or the rack of lamb and then she was going to have like just a kids meal, like a smaller per portion, she just wanted like some chips or something. Um, so they gave us the a la carte menu which you know obviously it means, I think it means on its own so you just get like, one thing which I'm not really for because you know I don't really like you know, having a small plate with like a tiny bit of food on which you have to mess about with. I just like, you know, a simple steak and chips, big meal, eat it, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm very simple when it comes to eating. Things, but, yeah, she just wanted some chips. So we said, oh, can we have the kids menu, please? And the, the woman was like, uh, for you? And we was like, yeah. And then she was like, oh, I'm sorry, we we can't give the, the kids menu, it's only for kids. And was like, so what age is it up to then for kids? And she said, up to 12, so, you know. She was like, I'm sorry, my boss is very strict, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I guess in theory I could have said, oh, I want to speak to the manager then, because we're either having a kids meal or no meal. And, you know, what's it going to be? But we just went, so we're going to head back to Reykjavik, head back to the hotel and get some food out, probably just, you know, something quick, maybe a burger or something, because, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I guess we're not, you know, posh, I'm not really for, for the, you know, all the fancy stuff, but a bit disappointing, you know, we would like to go into the restaurant at the Blue Lagoon, but um, all round, been a nice experience, is not it? Was it what you expected it to be? Um, Yeah, I thought it was crazy busy. No, I thought it would be like jam packed. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, um, you know, it was a very nice experience. Just like I said, just a bit disappointed about the restaurant. But we're still going to, you know, end the day on a high. We're going to head back to the hotel, grab some food, Probably and then we're going to go out. KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it might not be open because it's Sunday though. Mm, but we're going to go. Um, yeah, back to Reykjavik and maybe see the Northern Lights again tonight. That'll be fun. Well, let's do it. So in Iceland, in the KFC, they actually have this thing. Now, I thought it was salt or like pink salt or something, but it's actually like, kind of like a barbecue flavor salt. Tastes real good there. You see that bus? We're actually following it. We left KFC, we've topped with a Tango Petra which cost like 8,600 kroner for a pretty much a full tank, so that's not too bad, it's about 40 or 50 pound. Um, but yeah, we're following that bus because we want to see the Northern Lights again tonight. I'm pretty sure that's the bus which goes, um, you know, on a tour excursion to see the, to see the Northern Lights. Um, but I've, I've checked online and there's a high possibility that an Aura will be visible tonight given that there's, you know, lo low clouds and whatnot. So, let's hope we get to see it. Let's hope we get to see it. <laughs> So we just went through a tunnel which was six kilometers long and it went from um, Reykjavik to another city which is in you know western Iceland but um, it you know went under the Arctic Sea do you know what I mean um, but yeah that was uh, that's pretty amazing but and we lost the we lost the tour bus 
uh, when we went through there because that just went straight through because there was a toll there you had to pay a toll but the, the bus just went straight through um, and then obviously we had to stop and pay but, and we went the way which we thought it went but um, anyway we couldn't find it again so uh, we stopped at a petrol station just uh, looked online and then we just typed in a city which was you know um, not in a clouded area so we thought you know we'll just head to there and you know luckily enough we've actually just found the tour bus again just out of the blue so girlfriend she spotted it so props to her but um yeah we're just following in yeah see where it goes you know it might be taking us off a cliff we don't even know yet but uh let's hope it takes us to the northern lights so we're actually heading back we got a glimpse well i got a glimpse on my camera of the um aura and um yeah it lasted for about what a few minutes and the clouds just went straight over um you know i checked online and this place is like you know heavy heavy clouds at the moment so we haven't really got any chance and it looks like it's going to be that way for the next few hours it's um it's like half 11 now and we're like an hour away from Reykjavik so we, you know we're gonna head back so we need to get up early tomorrow but um obviously you know we got to see them properly um we all got to see them you know decent enough on the thursday the first day we came here so you know we're happy with that and we haven't really wasted our time coming out of it because you know we would have only just been you know in the hotel on social media and whatnot so you know it's been a nice drive out and yeah it was good fun really so um heading back now and then we're pretty much gonna go straight to sleep so that's the plan hello Thank you. Might have some snow. <laughs> 